A very good morning to all dignitaries, guests, and delegates. I feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to all present here today for the annual award ceremony of Aquinas College of Higher Studies 2020. It's a matter of great honor and pleasure to appreciate and reward the hard work of the students who have made both the college and their parents proud. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm profusely elated to take the opportunity to introduce our chief guest of the day, Dr. Sujiva Hetiarachi, a senior lecturer in the Department of English of Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences of University of Sri Java, Dhanupura. On behalf of the management, I thank him for his gracious presence today. It's a mark of our undying tradition to invoke the Almighty at the beginning of an important event. I would like to call upon Reverend Father Prasanka Rodrigo on the stage to do the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your providence and divine protection. Your Spirit speaks to us that we need to have the foundation of our houses of faith strongly built on you. When the harsh storms of life may blow against us and the flood may try to overtake us, we know that our faith in your providential care would take care of us. We are thankful to you for this day of grace. We firmly believe that every good thing comes from you and you are the, you are the author of life. We praise you for showering your abundant blessings upon all of us who serve here in this hallowed institution. Especially we thank you for our students who will be receiving awards today as diplomates. May they continue to experience your love and mercy. Father, as we bless your mighty name, we ask for your continued blessings upon each and every one of us that we may commit ourselves for the mission of educating the youth of our nation for many more years to come. May our Blessed Mother be with us and intercede on our behalf. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Thomas Aquinas, Saint Joseph Vass, all the saints and angels of the Lord, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone. May you please be seated. Now, I would like to invite the Reverend Priest in charge of Faculty of Education and English of Aquinas College of Higher Studies, Reverend Father Thilina Geet Gayan to welcome the distinguished guests. Dr. Sujeev Hetya Arachi, our chief guest today, where Reverend Dr. Susit Silva, the Vice Chancellor of Aquinas College of Higher Studies, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, Deans, Heads of Academics, Lecturers, Members of the Academic and Non-Academic Staff, the convocation and the, award, and the annual award ceremony are always significant events in the academic calendar of Aquinas College of Higher Studies. Dear students, today we celebrate what you have achieved. On a day of such great significance, it is my joy to welcome our chief guest, Dr. Sujiva Hittiarachi, for having accepted our humble invitation to grace this event amidst his busy schedule. I know for a fact that Dr. Sujiva is extremely busy these days as he is one of the chief organizers of the seventh international research conference organized by the University of Sri Jayavardhanapura. Dr. Sujiva Hetiarachi graduated with BA honors in English from the same university and he obtained his masters in TESOL and PhD in linguistics from the University of Michigan in the United States of America. He is a senior lecturer attached to the Department of English of Sri Jayavardhanapura University, Sri Lanka. 
Dr. Sujeeva has contributed immensely to the fields of theoretical syntax, language acquisition, bilingualism, and TESOL methods. He is also an excellent lecturer, and I am proud to record that I am one of his students. Above all these significant achievements, Dr. Hetiarachi remains a simple and a humble human being. Dear sir, we are proud to have you today as our chief guest. I would also like to take the honor of welcoming the Reverend Dr. Sisi Silva, the Vice Chancellor of Aquinas College of Higher Studies. Dear Father, your leadership has given the much needed direction to the entire Aquinas family. I also take great pleasure in welcoming all the Reverend Fathers, Deans, Heads of Academics, Lecturers, members of the academic and non-academic staff to this all-important event. Dear Diplomates, you are our product and we are proud of you and we welcome you with joy beyond all telling. Always remember that education is the most powerful key to success. It allows us to find meaning behind everything. It gives us an understanding of the world around us and it is education that makes it possible for us to stand out as equal individuals in the world. Never lose that thirst to acquire knowledge. Furthermore, the ability to use another language enables the individuals, individuals to come in contact with so many people and cultures. Particularly, English gives you the access to the vast treasure of knowledge in the world. We have equipped you with necessary language skills to succeed in life. Go, conquer the world. We wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you very much, Reverend Father. Ladies and gentlemen, we rarely get an opportunity to listen to the words of a great personality. I would like to invite our honorable chief guest, Dr. Sujiva Hetiarachi, to address the gathering. He holds a PhD in linguistics from the University of Michigan, and Arbor, an MA in TESO from Eastern Michigan University, and a BA in English from the University of Sri Java, Dunabara, Sri Lanka. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome him on stage. Reverend Dr. Susit Silva, the Vice Chancellor, um, all Reverend Fathers, Administrative Officers, in particular, Reverend Thilina Geet Gayan, Priest in Charge, Department of English, all lecturers and diploma recipients. To begin with, let me congratulate all diploma recipients of English, I guess of 2020, of the Aquinas College of Higher Studies. Earning a diploma in English is not an easy task, especially from a prestigious institute like the Aquinas College. It requires a lot of hard work, it requires a lot of dedication, and it requires a lot of commitment. So today is a day when your hard work, your dedication, and your commitment have finally been paid off. You can and you should extremely be proud of what you have achieved today. Once again, all English diploma recipients congratulate on your great achievement. I'm sure you chose the Aquinas College for your higher studies for a valid reason. The Aquinas College established in 1950s is a pioneer in English education in this country. It is an institute that has rendered a great service to the English education in Sri Lanka. It is also an institute that has made English language accessible to ordinary people in the country, especially after independence. It is also an institute that has set standards for English education in this country. As a center of higher education, it currently provides a great service to the nation by offering undergraduate degree programs in many disciplines. Among everything else, 
It is English education that Aquinas College is well known for in this country. So you are fortunate to have earned your English diploma from the Aquinas College. Today, just in a few minutes, you will receive your diploma certificates. I'm sure you have been anxiously waiting for this moment. But before you receive your certificates, let me ask one question from all diploma recipients. What are you going to do with the certificate you will be receiving? Are you going to laminate it and place it in a file of all your achievements? Or are you going to nicely frame it and hang it on the wall as it at least used to be in the past? Or are you going to take a picture and share it on Facebook? How can you really get your certificate worth? And that is the most important question. A certificate is worth only if we are able to demonstrate the skills that it certifies. After all, it's individuals who receive them that give value to a certificate. The certificate you are earning should not be the end of your learning. It should be the beginning of your learning. So in the rest of this speech, based on some research, I will briefly talk about why and how you should continue to be a lifelong learner. Everyone agrees that learning a second language is not easy. In the Sri Lankan education system, we start learning English as a second language from grade three. By the time we complete high school, that is advanced level, we learn English over 10 years. Despite this, it's a very small percentage of students that receive a basic working knowledge in English at the end of their school education. According to the statistics of the Department of Examination, Sri Lanka, only 62% of students manage to obtain an SPAS, manage to obtain an SPAS or above for English at the GC O-level examination in 2019. Why is it that many students who learn English over 10 years in the school system fail to obtain at least a basic working knowledge in English? Is this because there is something wrong in the way English is taught in this country? Is there anything wrong with the education policies that we have in place? Some people blame teachers for this poor state of affairs. Some people blame education policies, blame on education policies, while others blame learners for their lack of commitment and motivation. Why is learning a second language difficult and challenging? Learning a language is different from learning any other discipline, such as mathematics, science, and history. Even though it is taught as a subject in our education system, there are several conditions that should be met for any successful language acquisition. Unlike in the case of other subjects, it requires an adequate amount of exposure to the target language in the form of language input. But the input that learners receive in classrooms in the school system is not often sufficient to develop competence in a second language. As it is well known in the field of language teaching, learners should be provided with input or exposure to the target language so that he or she can develop a rule system inside his or her head. In Noam Chomsky's terms, this is called mental grammar. The simple idea is that learning and memorizing rules of a language is not going to make the learner competent in that language. In order to develop competence, the learner has to develop a rule system in his or her head. This is how we all learn our native language. We heard language being spoken around us, and we use this language input to create a mental grammar or a rule system inside our head. By using this rule system, now we can communicate in an effortless manner. In order to speak a certain language in an effortless manner, the same thing has to happen. We need to develop a rule system inside our head so memorizing individual rules is often 
uh, it has little value. If we can develop a rule system inside our head, we can communicate in a second language in an effective and efficient manner. So the important question is how we can develop a rule system inside our head? Can we do it by simply memorizing all rules of the second language? Can we do it by analyzing the grammatical rules of the language? While these exercises are useful, they are not sufficient to develop a rule system inside a speaker's head. There are two ways in which we can develop a rule system inside our head. The easiest way is to live and communicate with people, live among people who use it as a first language or as a proficient language, and use it in day-to-day -day life. This is how people who migrate learn English or any other language they are exposed to within a very short period of time. They don't attend classes to learn grammar rules or vocabulary. They acquire language with natural input through exposure. But everyone does not receive exposure to English in a natural setting. How do such learners develop proficiency in a second language? That is also through exposure, but of a different kind. In addition to classroom learning, they need an extensive amount of input in the form of listening and reading. If you would like to continue to improve your English, you should be prepared to listen to a variety of listening materials, ranging from news bulletins, speeches, discussions, to informal conversations that you can easily access using electronic media today. Also, you should develop the habit of reading continuously. When you are engaged in reading and writing and listening, you will unconsciously or subconsciously develop a rule system in your head. This will help you communicate in an effortless manner in English. Communicating in a second language, at least initially, is a challenging task. It requires a lot of motivation. Motivated learners who are prepared to take risks are the most successful second language learners. Learners who lack motivation may give up learning, and this is something common in second language classrooms. So motivation is the key to success in learning a certain language. Now you have earned a diploma in English. This is a big achievement in your life. But consider this as the beginning of your learning, but not as the end of your learning. Be a self-directed, motivated learner who makes use of resources available to you in your surroundings. This will help you develop your proficiency in English and become a very competent speaker. Before I conclude, I would like to thank the Vice Chancellor and the entire administration of the Aquinas College for inviting me to attend this diploma awarding ceremony. In particular, I thank Reverend Father Tilina Geet Gayan, priest in charge of the Department of English for this invitation. Thank you very much. That was an inspiring speech. Dear sir, thank you very much for your words of wisdom. Well, with that being said, let the event roll out. It's the time we acknowledge the talent of students award distribution of diplomats. I request Dr. Sujiva Hetiarachi to give away the awards of diplomats. Mr. Vishad, the administrative officer, will assist him. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome him on stage. Names of the Diplomates Award Ceremony 2020 Merit Pass Fatima Nazma B. L. Sachini Lakshika G. Asma Kazim Lakshani Upeksha Kolumbage
e Mempurna Escore. E ci medini Danushka. PV Lahiru di Lanka. Roshani DK Ekanayaka. MM Ishini Prabha Fernando. LH Udeni Fernando. SMDE Fernando. Chiranmali M. Fernando. KN Priyadini Fernando. CG Galage. KG MB Kottava Gamage. KAU Sammani Gunaratna. RAC Ruanmali Gunaratna. K Taruka Hasrali. HADS Hansamali Hatrusingha. SD Lianage. HAM Pabasara Madhubashini. Matushan Baskaran. Melisa Mulhol. KGS Dilshani Navaratna. WP Nisansala. Emphasmia Nurdin. Pasanta Vatmini Palan Singha. WK Nimeshia Chamini Pereira. LG Sanduni Nanmada Pereira. TGM Medani Pereira. SADR Pereira. DS Hasko Pereira. EU Avishki Pereira. P. Kalpani Prasadika Pereira. W. A. Sewandi Pumika. I. A. Punchiheva. A. A. Fatima Ramiza. K. A. D. C. Rashmini Kumara Peli. M. R. F. Raiza. F. Saina Brizvi. Trian Edward Rosaro. Nadun Rupa Singha. WMAD Madushani Ruantika. PH Hirni Sandunika. E.M. Kuluni Sanutmi. U.J.N. Shehani Senadira. K.P.D.U. Sewandi Jawadana. S.D. Sonali Nimesha. E.A. Akash Taruka. PDIH Tenuara W. Setmi Tisarani PC Nisansala Vaidaratna Dioni SK Veer Singha Diniti Asoda Valvitia Navod BG Gunasekara Simple Pass RS Ashkan Abbas Muhammad Arshad BAT Saswini Abewardana SA Iresha Achini Pereira SA D. Yohani Achintya AATN Adhikari
Hanif Sirajuddin, W. A. Lahiruni Aishwarya, W. E. D. Deve Rashmi Aishwarya, M. A. Begum Ashwa, A. O. M. M. Pabasara Apmi Mana, M. D. Yasara Algama, K. Kasun Alvis, D. D. Chamatka Silva, W. S. Kaushalyani Alvis, M. S. Fatima Amal. A. Iresha Sewandi, Madhura Mahela Amarasekara, N. A. Amarasuriya, N. Nadishani Amaravira, T. M. Arshad Amin, D. M. A. M. M. F. Andradi, EMC Anjana Ekanayaka CMH Anthony WG Nikini Aparna S Archana PB Devindi Aryaratna Azriya Zameen C. A. Fernando Atachi, D. B. Navisha Atulat Mudali, K. Tushini Ayodhya, N. A. Ishini Ayodhya, F. T. Muhammad Azim, M. F. Fatima Azga, D. S. Ravisha Badivitana. P. K. Tushani Divyanjali, B. A. S. V. Balasuriya, R. R. T. Kaumudi Bandara, D. M. M. N. Bandara, D. B. T. Devmini Bandara, KPGI Bandara APNR Bandara WJM Roshan Bandara MW Rashmi Taksala UHS Sitara Badusena KBIS Basnaika MMF Muniza Begum BVR Tilanka Beneragama Sanuji Natasha Benjamin PAM Bhagya Kumari HD Janani Bhagya WA Pasindu Bhatia PK Janit Bimsara HA Pavani Naodhya Bishani BAG Hashika Bogoda F. Sajida Bonso A. Shashiprabha Bopagamage W. N. Devindi Boteju Aikavinga Buddhini S. K. D. S. Carlton WP Krishant Chamara RK Sachit Chamika 
के मलशिया चामिंदी डब्ल्यू एच चमोदा वेलिकल ई दिल रंगी चंदीपा क्रिस्टीन चंदीमा दिलमी चंद्रबानु रक्सना चंद्रनाथन एल एल डब्ल्यू एन धनुषन चंद्रसिरी एम जी प्रमीला चतुरांगनी सचिनी निमेशा बी ए लक्ष्मिनी चिवलोत्तमा के एच पी खुरे इन्ने संदीपनी खुरे प्रमोद अविष्क कोरेया जेनित एंथनी एल तमेशिया दहनायक डब्ल्यू टी मंगलिका दमयंती आर डब्ल्यू आर एम एस डी रत्नमाला जी के एस रनहंसी दयासेन जूड एंटन देबोरा आई एम धीर सिंह मुतुसिंदुजा देवो एम के देवनारायण पी के काल्पनी देवाप्रिय जननी पमोदा देवसुरेंद्र पी ए चमत्का देवींदी जे ए डी एस इमाशा देवींदी जी डी चामिका देवमिनी डब्ल्यू आई मलशा देवमिनी रेवरन के दामदासी रेवरन कालगम दामदीन एम जी एस इंदुवर दारमरातन के ए एन डायस एम चामरी पी डायस डब्ल्यूडी जिनी चितमिनी डायस एम जेनिफर डायस एच एम समाधि दिलहारा एन डी विदिशा अबे विक्रम एन जी रश्मिका दिलरुक्षी आर डब्ल्यू कुशिनी दिलरुक्षी एम एम तक्षिला दिलरुक्षी एच एम हर्षनी दिलरुक्षी यू उदेश दिलशान डी एम ए एस दिलशान विजय सिंह पी के कसुनी दिलशानी जे एच के हशिनी दिलशारा के डब्ल्यू ससिनी दिनुशिका डी एम यू इरोशी दिशा नायक डी एम टी जी दिमुतु निशानी दिशा नायक एम प्रियंकर दिशा नायक डी एम शामिका तिलांगनी दिशा नायक ए एम आश्चर्य दिव्यानी पी एच रश्मि दिव्यांजलि डी एम चमत शशिंत डी एम दुलवत्त पी डी सचिनी दुलाक्षी 
एच जी निषादी दुलांजलि डी हिरुनी प्रमोद्या एदिरि सिंह के हिमांशा इदिरि सिंह ई ए डी एस एम एदिरि सिंह डी ए एकनायक EMC Amandi Ekanayaka Yasara Ridmi Ekanayaka MW Fahim Mohammed RM Netmini Kumari Bilbagedara Melani Shanika Pradeep Kumara आरएम नुवांति दिले का राजपक्ष, डब्ल्यू सुरनी कामेल फनेंडो, Thank you very much, dear sir. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give again a big round of applause to these amazing talents. We have finally come to the end of this beautiful event. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite one of the members of the academic staff to deliver the vote of thanks. The long-awaited day has dawned. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. A very good morning to everyone present here to the award ceremony of the Faculty of Education and English at Aquinas College of High Studies. As we are spending the last few minutes of this ceremony, I would like to take this proud privilege to deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of Aquinas College. Let me first give glory and sincere thanks to Lord Almighty who showered his abundant blessings upon us throughout our lives, especially during this pandemic era to make this event a great success. A very sincere thanks to our Distinguished Chief Guest, Dr. Sujiva Hetiarachi, Senior Lecturer in English, University of Chaiwardhanapura, who spared his precious time to grace this occasion. Thank you, sir. Special thanks go to our beloved Rector and Vice Chancellor, Very Reverend Father Susit Mark Silva, for your word of encouragement. To Reverend Father Thilina Geet Gayan, who is the live wire behind this entire success of this great event. Thank you, dear Father. My heartfelt gratitude to you, dear Reverend Father Burton Fernando, the Bursa of Aquinas College, for your fullest support. Sincere thanks to you, my dear priest in charge of all faculties. We are indeed grateful to all the deans and academic heads of various faculties. I also would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Ms. Sushani Walpola, Assistant Registrar to Examination, and Mr. Prabhat Athakorala, Assistant Controller of 
examination, faculty of education, and English. My heartiest thanks also go to Mr. Vishat Fernandu, Administrative Officer, Department of English, and Ms. Chaturya Virakudi, the Head of Academic, Department of English. My dear academic and non-academic staff members, a very big thank you to all of you for your guidance and coordination. I would not miss the contribution from the supportive staff members and everyone who rendered their services behind the screen. My heartiest congratulations to my dear students at this proud moment of your lives. I thank you and your loving parents in a very special way for your endurance in this journey during these difficult times, working towards achieving this great goal of your lives. Have a great day. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Life doesn't require that we be the best, only that we try our best. So my dear friends, try your best for success. Try to be as efficient as possible. So I would like to thank all of you to be a part of this beautiful event. I wish you all the very best. Thank you, one and all. So ladies and gentlemen, please kindly stand for the national anthem. 